Hello class, this is Dr. Harrell and I wanted to give you a, a brief explanation of Lab 8 for just a moment. Um, for Lab 8 you see two documents there. You see Lab 8 mitosis which gives you some web addresses and some information and then you see the next document, mitosis lab document. I just sent you an email, an announcement over that. I just uploaded that document. That's the document that I want you to use to record your answers and upload for this lab. So it's the second one right here. So I just built that. I built that document using the information in this document um, so that you to help cut down on some confusion. So if you'll open this document up, this is what you'll see right there. It'll begin with a cell cycle and so you will want to go to that web address to begin to answer questions about mitosis and then about cancer. So when you click on that you put your cursor over it of course and then um, it will be able to hit control click and go to that website and what you'll see is this. Let me open this up over here. This. This is the cell cycle and the instructions tell you to answer the mitosis link in the purple box. Say in order to answer the questions over mitosis, you're going to want to read through the introduction. So click on the introduction, read through that, then answer the mitosis questions by clicking on that link, then answer the questions on cancer by clicking on the, the cancer term right there, that link, in the orange box. Okay, now once we've done that, coming back over to your document, you'll, you've answered the mitosis, you've answered the cancer, now you're ready to answer the meiosis tutorial. So you'll click on, the, go to this web address right there, Control click, it'll take you to a meiosis tutorial, which will look like, let's see, this. So it'll take you to this site, meiosis tutorial. You're going to want to read about meiosis, scroll down to the bottom of the page to get to next. You'll have to click through here a few times as you read through all this and get to next. And then you'll see the questions. So the questions that you see there, 1 through 10, are the questions that I actually have already recorded for you in this document. They're multiple choice, so you will just choose the option that you want. The choice, you can either highlight it or bold it or something. So you go down through there, there are 10 questions. Once you finish those questions, you will come upon the eight assessment questions. So you go control click onto that web address, and here's where you'll get, you'll get to second here. Is it that one? No, sorry, just a minute. Let's see. This one. You'll get to this. It'll take you to a screen that will say assessment. Now you need to click on each one of these questions because I have in the document it says identify the stage of the cell cycle. There's your picture right there. So you're identifying that stage. When you've answered that, you go back to the assessment page, click on question two, and you'll see your picture, identify that stage. Once you've done that, you go back to your assessment page and click on question three and so forth until you've gotten down through question eight. Now, once you finish that, your very last activity is an onion root tip mitosis activity. And there it is right there. So once you go to this, that's going to take you to a website which is going to have an onion root tip activity for you. And I'm sure I do not have that link open. Just a minute, sorry, here. There we go. All right, so it'll take you to this activity. Now, when you get to this activity, here's what you do. You click over here on the left-hand side, um, onion root tip. And you will go through some explanation here. Click on next, and then read, click on next, next, there. This is the table that you have in your document that you're going to use. Click on next. And then it says click on the phase in which the cell. So you look at that picture. You decide, hmm, what phase do I think that is? I think that's metaphase. So I'm going to click over here on metaphase. And look, it says correct. Try classifying this new cell. Look at that. Oh, I think that's interphase. I click on interphase. So then, it, see, so it puts the cells down in the boxes for me. So it will, again, that's interphase. There, so those are the first three that are done. You'll click through several of those and it will actually build the number of cells that you have for each phase in the box. So you don't actually have to keep track of counting them while you do the activity. You will count them all up at the end of the activity. Um, once you're done with that, then you'll calculate the percentages from the total, enter your data into here, and you are finished with this lab. And you'll upload this document for lab eight. Okay, I hope that cuts down on any confusion. Please let me know if you have any questions. Good luck. I look forward to hearing from you. Bye-bye.